Hey, hey everyone and happy new year today's video we're going to be working on a new trend or at least new to me that i've been seeing all, all around youtube that i can only describe as liquid art or coffee art it has a couple of names but um i'm not really sure which one i should settle for so we're going to try that process in digital art form our victim for the new year is our very own Luma, Sugar Toadstool. I found a sketch from October 5th of 23 and decided to try out this cute art form. The brush that I use here is the liquid layout, or for the liquid layout. It's a starry brush that you can find in the description below for Clip Studio Paint. Maybe next time around, I'll look for a brush to actually have a watery texture to it and experiment with it. On to the line art phase. The line art process used to be and still might be a tough process to do since I don't like to dwell on those details too much. It takes way too long for me to do line art with standard brushes so I heavily rely on the rough pen brush that's also in the description below. It makes the line art process so much faster for me because I love the way it gives me a pencil look and feel allowing me to fly through the line art process without thinking too hard about what I'm looking for in my lines. To color my lines along the way, I duplicate my line art layer, set both layers to linear burn, then color the main layer brown, which would be uh, B27C5E if you type it in the uh, color palette, and the second layer a light brown, which would be DCA986 that you can also type in. You just have to go down to the uh, color set and you'll find it at the bottom right. Uh, they're also uh, labeled as skin 6 and skin 4 if you hover your mouse over it. Uh, then after that, I create a Gaussian blur, set it to around 10 or 11 on the second line art layer to give it more of a pop.
with coloring. I was looking for a Sonic comic-esque look. I've always been a fan of how Sonic comics are colored throughout the years, and I think I've settled on a definitive look for my art style. I create a gradient layer set to multiply for the overall feel, then cut out areas that need more light using the magic lasso and or magic wand tools, depending on uh, what type of details I'm looking for at the moment. Then I add another multiply layer on top for more defined shading. Then add a highlight layer on top to give it that flare and finishing touch. And that will be the end of this video. If you enjoy what you see, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on what you saw today, rather they be good, bad, or indifferent. If you have any questions, also feel free to leave those down in the comment section below as well. And as always, be safe out there.